Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about implicit differentiation. And for each problem, we're going to use implicit differentiation to find dy dx in terms of x and y. So, if I was given this problem, 3x squared, y squared, equal to 4x squared minus 4xy. Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to derive the left and right hand side. Now, the left hand side, we're going to use the product rule. So we have 3x squared, derivative of that part, 3x squared is 6x strep 1 times y squared, plus front part, 3x squared times derivative of y squared, which is 2 y subtract the exponent times dy dx. Now that's equal to the right hand side. 2 times 4 is 8, so we have 8x minus. Now I have to use the product rule again. Okay? And this time I'm going to do, do it the same way without really pulling out the 4 there. Two 4x together as one unit. Derivative of 4x is 4. We have y left over plus. All right, now that's subtraction, so both there. Plus, well, we have 4x times the derivative of y, which is just dy dx. Okay, so now we want to get dy dx is all to one side. That's our ultimate goal. The rest is just algebra here. So, to do that, uh, well, first let's go, let's go distribute this minus sign across to put all parts here, and then we're going to basically subtract, um, well, let's go add this dy dx to this side, and uh, subtract the 6xy squared from the right hand side. So I'm going to leave this the same, 6xy squared here plus 3x squared, uh, well, let's multiply 2 times a 3, get that out of the way here. 2 times a 3 being a 6, and then y times dy dx equals, let's just leave that here, 8x minus, well, <clears throat> minus 4y minus 4x dy dx. So like I said, let's go add uh, 4x dy dx to the right hand side and let's subtract the 6xy squared to the, uh, to make it to the right, uh, from the left hand side to the right hand side. So we have <clears throat> 6x squared y dy dx plus 4x dy dx equals, now we have here, 8x minus 4y minus 6xy squared. Now, I see I have dy dx on my left, everything else on the right, I'm going to pull out a dy dx. So I have dy dx here uh, times, what will left be is 6xy, uh, 6x squared y plus 4x, and that's going to be equal to this part here, 8x minus 4y minus 6xy squared. Now I'm going to divide by 6x squared y plus 4x to both sides, leaving me dy dx by itself. So I'm going to write that kind of over here, here, I'm going to fit it all in, dy dx is equal to, this being my numerator, 8x minus 4y minus 6xy squared, okay, all over my denominator, which is what I was dividing by, 6x squared y plus 4x, and there we have our final answer. Now, you might be able to simplify a little bit more, but it's fine as it is. So let's recap. We're going to 3x squared y squared equals 4x squared minus 4xy. Left hand side derived, I have 6xy squared plus 3x squared times 2y dy dx. Now, <clears throat> I was using the product rule there. The right hand side, 4x squared becomes 8x, and then the right hand side using the product rule again, I have all being subtracted by 4 times y plus 4x dy dx. Distributed the minus sign across, okay? and kind of simplify the left-hand side, my next step. Then I got my dy dx's, everything is attached to the left, all the other ones that didn't have a dy dx attached it to the right. From there, I pull that dy dx. Uh, from this, leaving me dy dx times 6x squared y plus 4x, and I divide that to both sides, giving me dy dx by itself, and so dy dx is equal to 8x minus 4y minus 6xy squared over 6xy, uh, 6x squared y plus 4x. 